Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so I do want to start with us today first, okay, because today is my birthday. All right, so I got a few minutes to breathe, so I wanted to check in and just see how everything was going and also to say happy birthday to you guys as well and also to thank everyone for the birthday wishes, okay, because I already know I probably may have missed some posts, comments, or however because it's a lot coming through. I love you guys. You are not gone on unnoticed. And I thank you so much for the blessings, okay? Now, um, you want to... How, how, all right, all right, all right, all right, hold up. <laughs> Flip your rules. Take what you need. Leave what you don't need. Use the spirit of discernment and never force the message to fit, okay? Now, um, I don't know if you're masculine or feminine. I'm just speaking the energy, okay? So I'm going to try to tell it like I'm telling the story, so hopefully you'll be able to catch up. And again, if it doesn't resonate, then it may not possibly be for you. It's collective reading. And I don't even want to say it might not be for you. It just might not be happening for you in this moment, okay? So remember, energy is energy. And at any time that you tune into this video, it could be for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the message for Virgo? Thank you that this message reaches the right people at the right time in the right places. And it's also a 9-9 portal, y'all. Yes. Give me the message. I got a woman holding a heart. Coming up right. Angel of love. And then I got the journey card coming out. Now, I'm going to see. I'm going to pull tarot because I want to see which way that's going. Now, for the most part here, the woman holding a heart is just someone, I'm going to say she's like the queen of cups in traditional tarot. And um, there's a lot of emotion and a lot of love with you and someone else or you're building this with yourself. You know, like your own self-love, okay? So it don't always got to be about another person. But however... Um, I see that you're on this healing journey, or you could be moving, you could be traveling. Knight of Swords comes out. <laughs> and the way this look, it looks like it's almost like someone coming in to thwart your journey. It's like they're coming in really super quick. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. I don't know why I heard thought. What, who is this coming into the work? Virgo's journey. Ten of swords in the reverse. So it's someone definitely from the past. You may have felt betrayed by this person or something like that, but I feel like somebody is coming in. Eight of swords. It's two people. That's what I'm hearing. This situation may have made you feel very restricted. Why is this person coming in? Why is this person? Six of Wands. They want to give you your flowers, <laughs> basically. Knight of Pentacles. Okay? Yeah. They, this person you may have had an ending with, and it's like now they want to come in and um recognize you because whatever happened in the past and this person's gonna come in kind of quick okay but whatever happened in the past between you and this person it's like they almost want to come in to um and what i'm hearing is it's like make amends not necessarily to manifest anything further but just to kind of like yeah make amends knight of wands okay so, yeah, they, they got this vision. It's like, no, it's nothing heavy, you know, like, but just to come and just make some type of amends um, because of whatever may have happened in the past. Okay. So, tell me about this Angel of Love card. Seven of Swords in the reverse. So, something is being revealed. Okay. This could be something being revealed by the universe or from a person or something here. Tell me more about this. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. A lot of communication happening around you. That's what I'm saying. This could be spiritual. This could be um, physical. But whatever it is, it's coming in quick. It's like Seven of Pentacles comes out. And it could have a lot to do with your investments. Could be what you're investing into. 
when it comes to a relationship or a connection or into yourself, like I said. Yep, two of cups comes out. So what's the confession? Ooh, yeah, y'all see this, y'all? What's the confession? Ooh, Queen of Wands reverse. Why the Queen of Wands in reverse? Always got pop up in the Virgo reading. Why they can't just like go do their own thing? They be so worried about us. I just don't understand. <laughs> okay. Whoever this Queen of Wands reverse is, what about this person? Ten of Swords comes out. Mm hmm Justice card comes in the reverse. So there was some type of ending that could have taken place with this person. And it was an injustice done, of course, right? Because, you know, hey, when you do things that lack integrity, karma coming back for you. And that's just pretty much what it's looking like. All right, it looks like, you know, the law of cause and effect is kicking in on this situation. And this person may be trying to get their justice because they see you being recognized. Tell me more about that. Six of Wands. That Six of Wands energy is heavy in here. Because I even came out for this other person that's trying to come back in pretty quickly here. It's like you've reached this important milestone. Okay? Like, look, it, your milestone could be your birthday, right? Or it could be, you know, you graduated from school. You got a, a, a job. Or, you know, a relationship going to the next level. Had a baby. Whatever that may be. It's like you reached this important milestone. You probably feeling real confident. Okay? Very self-assured about yourself. And the thing is, it's like other people have taken notice to this, like I said. Hmm. And because of that, why? Since they've taken notice of this. Look at that. Six of Wands coming out. Because they've taken notice of that, what? What that got to do with my Virgo words? Knight of Cups comes out. Quite a few people I feel like is coming in showing love. Okay. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. You getting a lot of love, man. That's all I'm saying. Like you getting a lot of love. Yep. Groove of unity comes out. Like this is like community type love, connections, things like that, right? Tell me about this Queen of Wands in the reverse. Because you're a person that fosters harmony and connection. That's just what you do. You bring people together. And um, and so what I'm seeing here, it's like when it comes to your spirit link, it's like you already are aligned with your highest dreams. Okay? Your ideas, everything. Right? You know what to do to find your success. You know that you have to um, stay connected with Source God, right? Your spirit link. And so a lot of things that you do, you're divinely guided, right? And then on top of that, you foster harmony within communities. You bring people together. You're nurturing bonds, things like that. You're open to receive. And then, of course, you got these people that try to come in, right? Because, of course, they want, they want to embrace the flow of your blessings as well. So just remember right like to just pretty much stay confident here about what it is that you got going on because it's working okay even if you can't see it it's working virgo um i'm gonna pull from another deck but i feel like my time getting ready right now so if it doesn't just stay tuned for part two but um however what's the significance of this seven of pentacles You've been playing the waiting game, okay? And so I, I'm thinking a whole lot on this Seven of Pentacles, right? You've been working hard. 
to try to really manifest something here. But look, stay tuned for part two so I can go deeper. All right, peace.